much-loved railway films, the Titfield Thunderbolt. Back in 1952, the centre of attention lay firmly with the Motley Branch Line train. Today, however, the tables have turned, and for the first time ever, a hitherto unseen take gives us a rare opportunity to witness another typical Southern Region Express going about its everyday business, a mere four years after nationalisation. Shot simultaneously on three separate 35mm negatives, one for each primary colour, this and many other three-strip Technicolor shots have been specially printed for this production, including this, the actual take used in the film. line was the beloved Somerset and Dorset joint where it crossed the great western Limpley Stoke Camerton branch with Midford Station in the background. One of the stars of the film was a 1400 class 042 tank number 1401 designed by Collett for light branch working and introduced in 1932. Seen here in this outtake at Moncton Coombe, a station which was renamed Titfield for the purpose of the film. Here's another outtake from one of the familiar scenes in the film involving the chase between the Bedford OB coach and the local train service. Fourteen oh one was scrapped many years ago, but still around to this day is the real star of the film, Lion. The film itself shows a tantalizing glimpse of a great Western Express in motion before cutting away to Bristol Temple Meads. But again, we found another take with the bonus of two London to Bristol Express trains in action. As you watch these colour scenes, just remember, they were taken right back in 1952. Here's another camera angle that didn't make the finished film. Lion isn't a replica. It was built in 1838 for the Liverpool and Manchester Railway and it's still around to this day. The branch line ran from Limpley Stoke via Moncton Coombe to Camerton in the vicinity of Midford, which we saw earlier. The Somerset and Dorset crossing on the viaduct has of course long since disappeared. We found this lovely ride whilst delving deep into the Ealing film vaults. It gives a unique opportunity to see a line that closed to passengers way back in 1925. By 1952, 
all traffic had ceased in this rural area of Somerset. The grass was already beginning to grow between the sleepers. You'll never have another chance to ride over this line again. The track was removed shortly after filming. 